Russian courts have received more cases of soldiers accused of leaving their units without permission so far in 2024 than were registered for all of 2023, according to independent Russian media. Newsweek media outlet says that since the start of this year, Russian courts have gotten 5,204 cases of military personnel accused of abandoning their positions without authorization. Russian opposition outlet Media Zona reported that throughout 2023, the courts logged 5,096 cases, according to the outlet. Since the early months of the almost two-and-a-half-year-old war in Ukraine, there have been high reported cases of desertion and soldiers leaving their posts. Indications of poor conditions for Russian soldiers in Ukraine have frequently surfaced, according to Newsweek. In early April 2023, the UK government said Russia's high number of casualties on the battlefields of eastern Ukraine was tied to pervasive alcohol abuse among Moscow's deployed fighters. The British Defence Ministry said that troops were being forced to improvise filtration attempts using stagnant puddles for daily water requirements. The shortage of drinking water meant Russian forces were likely experiencing spikes in waterborne diseases and dehydration, not to mention low morale and their feelings about how well they can fight, the British Ministry added. In late April, Ukraine's military intelligence agency said desertion was particularly evident in the forces in Russia's southern military district which covers southwestern Russian regions. More than 18,000 Russian soldiers have left the service in the combat units of the district without permission, the Ukraine's military intelligence agency said at the time. Most of these fighters were serving with Russia's 8th Combined Arms Army, long mired in bloody clashes in eastern Ukraine. Private military companies, often referred to by the West as mercenary organizations and Storm Z units, which are described as penal military formations, have the highest levels of desertion, Russian independent outlet The Insider reported in late May. Moscow has relied on these fighters for some of the bloodiest fighting in the most intense areas of the front lines in Ukraine. More than 10,000 Russian military personnel have been prosecuted for refusing to serve, including not complying with an order, going AWOL or deserting since September 2022, Media Zona reported in mid-June. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko is currently in a very difficult situation, Ukrainian military expert Mikhail Zirokov said on Radio NV. Putin demands from him for beginning military action to pull back some troops to open another front, but he does not have enough leverage over Lukashenko. Lukashenko always blocks all pressure from Russia with the Mosier oil refinery. He always says that the oil refinery is within striking distance of Ukrainian weapons, and this oil refinery is now one of the largest suppliers of gasoline for the Russian Federation, Zirokov said. He explained that gasoline is currently a strategically important resource for the Russian Federation, which has become of short supply due to regular strikes by Ukrainian UAVs on Russian oil refineries. But he can't completely ignore Putin. All these statements, all this rattling of weapons with the transfer of three, four, ten tanks, this is all for external and partly internal use, to show that something is being done, added Zirokov. Earlier, President of Belarus Alexander Lukashenko said that a Ukrainian UAV had violated the country's airspace. The dictator then decided to move his troops to the border with Ukraine. According to veteran of the Russian-Ukrainian war Alexei Getman, if the Belarusian ruler Alexander Lukashenko enters the war against Ukraine, his army will be defeated. But Ukraine will be able to attack enemy targets in the event of aggression without additional permissions. Lukashenko's statements about the Ukrainian threat are playing into Russia's hands, said Andriy Demchenko, the spokesman for the State Border Service of Ukraine, on air at the telethon, because they have repeatedly created some kind of threat blaming Ukraine. And then they talk about some kind of buildup of forces, then they remove these forces because they do not see a threat. This is another information impact. I do not rule out that within this framework they will be forced to move equipment, personnel. Perhaps not in large quantities, but in order to create a picture that this is happening, Demchenko said. He also added that such movements of military equipment in Belarus are not happening towards the border with Ukraine, but inside the country itself. So far, border guards have not recorded any buildup of Belarusian forces, neither equipment nor personnel. Considering that Belarus remains in the sphere of influence of the terrorist country Russia, this direction is threatening. 
we must be prepared for any situation, in any direction. And this is why Ukraine continues to take measures to strengthen both the borderline and the border area where the defense forces are located, Demchenko added.